Hi guys, Lifestyle Mama here, and if you are watching this video, Happy New Year. Yes, Happy 2021. Y'all, we made it. I'm telling you, we made it. That's a blessing, just blessings upon blessings upon blessings. We made it. I want to welcome you to my page. My page is Lifestyle Mama, and for all my followers that have been following me about uh, a little over a year on this channel, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for my new subscribers, subscribers, can I say it right? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. And on my channel, I do all kinds of things. Um, I like to say it's a lifestyle brand. <laughs> and I do everything from designer dupe hauls to arts and crafts to candle making. So... Uh, welcome you to this journey. Oh, sorry. I meant to say gardening too. I can't forget about gardening. So yes, I am a jack of all trades. And so I welcome you to my channel. And this is my first video. And what a better way to start than with a Dollar Tree haul. Okay, because just because it's a new year don't mean we get any more coins. Okay, so this Dollar Tree haul is uh, a haul for all of my, well not all of my, but a lot of the uh, dollar store DIY crafting videos that I do. And so, let's just get to it. Okay, so for this haul, I have two huge bags and a box. Yeah, I went kind of crazy. You know, that's what happens sometimes. So, let's get started. So I bought some of these plastic containers with lids. I use these for several things. Um, for the packs of glitter that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I will take these and because I get so many, I'll use the cups to put them in. So like you see here, I got glitter in this one. So these are very convenient. I'm just putting this stuff like on the floor, so it's okay. <laughs> I got this Crafter Square storage box again because I get some for my uh, key change, like for my little bunnies, look at me bunny, my little bunny rabbits, and for my um, key change for my initial key change. I have a lot of loose pieces like little screws and all that stuff so I figured I would put it in here and get myself organized okay yeah we need to be organized in 2021 okay got my plastic cups these cups are really good for again my resin projects because for uh, the resin projects if you don't know you have to measure uh, part A and part B and they have to be in equal parts or else your resin won't harden. Okay, so if you can see on here, it's kind of hard with this light, but if you can see on here, these cups have ridges and so I use those as my sight lines so I can measure my resin in equal parts. So, okay, pretty good. They come uh, it's 28 in a pack. So 28 cups for a dollar. Can you beat that? I don't think so. Okay? All right. And then, uh, Maj Paws. And so anyone who is a crafter knows that Maj Paws is your best friend. And yes, this was a dollar at the dollar store. And I always get the glossy kind. And I use that to do my cups and things like that. So that is perfect. The next thing I have is some acrylic paint. Now, this is a, you know I can't read, no 50 man, you know, the eyeballs, but I'm not going to wear glasses on YouTube. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, uh, so this is four ounces and again a dollar and any kind of crafting paint. So acrylic paint. Now, this is not associated with any type of uh, crafting, but I have been looking for these, and these are amazing. They are individually wrapped 
antibacterial travel wipes. So if you don't want to always put hand sanitizer or if you want to clean your hands, and you know how sometimes hand sanitizer is just not going to do it, right? You can have your wipes. So I actually bought three boxes of these because uh, there's no limit right now. So why not? And there are 30 wipes in each one. So I have 90 wipes. Put them in my purse and keep it moving. All right. Next thing I have is clothespins. Now I use clothespins to affix the wicks on my candles, but I use these and this is 36 for a dollar. All right, let's go. I also found uh, a sales order book and this is real simple, but it's a way to keep track and a way to make sure that you have your customer's information, etc., etc. If you're going to go to craft fair, things like that, and sell your products at flea markets, you want to have something real simple that you can write stuff down for people who do want to pay cash and not always want to pay with their cart. So, nice sales book. All right. Now, this item, you're going to say, why the heck do you need that? Do you have a baby? No. But baby wipes in a craft space are lifesavers, especially if you're using glitter. Because I'm a little ridiculous with glitter. If you see my little table, ignore my little craft table. Because, yeah, baby wipes. Wipe stuff down. It picks up the glitter really easily. And, again, only a dollar. And it's hockey spray. Hmm. Some more clamps and I'll use these to hold anything that I need while I'm crafting or you can even use these as the uh, clips for your uh, chips and things like that and got this pretty pink color again it's from your crafter square and it is six pieces a dollar yeah yeah I'm gonna keep saying it's four dollar because it's four dollar and then, of course, I had to stock up, like I had need any more glitter. I had to stock up on this because this glitter is really pretty. And in fact, I showed you this cup earlier. And this silver glitter right here is the glitter that I use for this. And you can see it's so shiny and pretty. And I really can't wait to use this, like, I don't know, I call it Merlot. But it's like a real deep uh, burgundy color and I'm thinking about putting that on the bottom of a champagne glass like I did this one like a champagne flute this is in blue and this actually came from the same um, company just a different pack can't see it right now but anyway you know what I mean and so I really love this glitter because it's fine and it's shiny and I get six different colors for a dollar but I am going to start separating these so I can have them in my little containers. And they can be organized. Okay. And. <laughs> Two. Sorry. <laughs> so that does it for bag number one. Now we're. Oops. Let's fix that. Bag number two. I know. Let's go to the store. So you know you can. Shop at the dollar store, but not spend a lot of money, but still get some really good stuff, right? All right. Well, here we got some parchment paper. And again, I like to lay down either parchment paper or wax paper. It really doesn't matter. On my surfaces, underneath the tray that I use when I'm glittering these items. Because glitter, I tell you, glitter goes everywhere and so anything I can put down on the surface that's going to catch this stuff the better and what's good about putting this down on your surfaces is that anything that spills you can put back into your containers again back into your containers so that you don't lose extra glitter right no waste can't have no waste it's 2020 2021 no wasting in the new year oh okay. So these are little shot glasses that are in the party section. 
and it comes 24 to a count and I use these to mix my resin and mix the colors in the resin, mix the glitters in the resin. It is 24 for a dollar. After I use it, throw it away. So love these things. They're really good. Stands up to the resin. Doesn't melt. All that stuff. So it's really, really good. All right. Then I got some more. Oh, let's see. I got some, some more. And some more of my cuts with the tops on it. So that's great. I also found these. And this is again from the Crafter Square. And you see how these are little cups with lids on them. So I like the way these look. And so I figured I would try them out to hold some of my, either my sequins or other glitters or things like that. So again, just a way to keep organized. And there are six storage containers for a dollar. And if you go to the section, they actually have three different sizes. I got the largest size. They do have smaller sizes if you're interested. If you think I was doing an advertisement for Crafter Squay. <laughs> All right. And then I got a box of these matches. So when I make my candles, one of the things I include in my uh, packages is a little sash that has some extras in it. And um, one of those extras are matches. So I saw that these were a little bit bigger. I used to have a little small box that I uh, put in my packages. But I thought, you know, maybe I'm in the new year, I would zhuzh it up a little bit more. And I like the fact that these are longer matches. And so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them. But they are 300 And again, just for a dollar. Can't beat that with a stick, right? Don't know why you would want to, but, you know, that's what they say. Can't beat it with a stick. So. And then I think the last item out of this bag is again crafter square and these are little metal brushes so i anticipate using these when i'm making my glasses and what you'll find is when you make the glasses and then after you put the glitter on sometimes you'll have a little bit of cleanup you have to do above here or you want to shake off the extra glitter and this is a really good way to use uh to, it's really good to use these brushes to get off that extra glitter so i'm excited about using these usually i get a pack of let's see here's a pack that i opened but they're they look like this and this is your regular paintbrush. So when I saw these, I said, oh, a little more sophisticated, a little more cute, you know. Add a little oomph to my little setup. Hey, whatever. <laughs> and so we have come down to the most exciting part of my haul. And it is in, I'm going to show you. Ugh, it's in this box. Ugh. I'm gonna move that over there a little bit. <laughs> All right. So you wanna know what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. I, I, I'll stick to my day job. In this box, are glasses. So as I said, I have started embellishing glasses with glitter and I'm going to do some little things on my new Cricut that I got and so I went to the dollar store because I said I wanted to be able to get some wine glasses maybe put some you know a face on here kind of zhuzh it up so I got wine glasses just right <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, I just got some champagne flute. Yes. And, I mean, these are these are thick. These are some thick glasses. And I got some. And I really like this one. Look at this margarita. If you could feel this margarita glass, this is heavy. It is a heavy, heavy glass. But isn't that beautiful? And then, last but not least, 
have my stemless wine glass. And so I am really excited to start doing some crafting projects with these. I've already started, as I've already said. I have the silver one. I have, oops, let's see. I have this beautiful purple one. And then I have, I'm calling this like a gunmetal color, I guess. And so I've already gotten a request for the margarita glass. So I'm going to have to take care of that one. I do have another one. But I really am excited to see what I can create with these glasses. So that is it for this video. I want to thank you again for subscribing. I am going to have um, a couple of haul videos for my designer dupes. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I will also have some more haul videos for my crafting and resin uh, products. And then I'm going to have some more videos. And I'm also going to be introducing my candle line. So I'm really excited on just the new year and showing you guys everything that I'm doing and hoping that you will join me on this journey. And for those of you who are asking, yes, 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 I am still doing my garden. I'm just shut down because, quite frankly, you know, gardening for me, even though lessons learned, I know that I can vary my planting. I really am just excited just to get into other things while it's cold outside. Like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, then please give me a thumbs up. And like I always say, subscribe. Bye guys.